How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. Right guys, uh, this is a story in the Scotsman and it's about Scotland who are going to be abolishing short sentences from next year. Now, as an ex-prisoner myself, I, I support this massively. Now, for those that don't know, um, justice has been devolved to Scotland. That means that they look after their own prisons and stuff. Um, they get their budget and they look after their own. They police their own. Um, the prison in, in England and Wales, the Scot the uh, prison population fluctuates between eighty five, uh, sorry, eighty three, eighty two, eighty three to about eighty six thousand, give or take. Um, in Scotland, the the prison population is like just over, just short of seven and a half thousand, uh, which is massive. Um, Scotland are leading the way in this regard. Um, France recently did it as well. They abolished short sentences. Short sentences are actually very much counterproductive and can actually make the problem a lot worse. Um, and I'm going to go into why and I want to read the story, guys, and it'll all become apparent. So the headline reads, Short Scottish prison sentences to be scrapped next year. Short sentences of 12 months or less in Scotland will be ended next year, the Justice Secretary has said, after it emerged that a thousand Scots spent last Christmas in jail on short sentences. Uh, Liberal Democrats have called on ministers to press ahead with a plan set out earlier this year to extend the current presumption against three-month sentences. That's, like I said, that, so they're cutting... If you get a three-month sentence, you're going to serve it in the community, you're not going to go to prison. That's what that means. Um, Scottish Prison Service figures obtained by Lib Dems through the Freedom of Information shows 1,022 prisoners on sentences of a year or less behind bars on Friday, December the 22nd, 2017 this was written just before the new year guys this is why it mentions 2017 meaning that they would spend christmas there the prison population on that date was 7332 uh lib dem justice spokesman liam MacArthur said last year over a thousand people were be left behind bars at christmas uh, due to a short-term sentence rather than being given short uh, spells in prison such offenders would be better serving tough community-based sentences we know that 60% of people given ineffective and disruptive short sentences reoffend within a year of release, whereas robust community-based sentences are far more successful and reduce the chance of more people becoming victims of crime. He said community sentences are not soft options, but help preserve family ties and limit the damage to the children of those behind bars. It is over a decade ago since the Prisons Commission concluded people on short sentences are more troubling than dangerous, and uh, three years since the consultation on extending the presumption against short sentences closed. Responses were overwhelmingly in favour of this shift, with experts including HMIPS, which is the Her Majesty's Chief Inspector of Prisons for Scotland, back in a new 12-month rule. Courts currently have a presumption against three-month sentences in Scotland, and Humza Yousaf made it clear that this will be extended. He said, In the year ahead, the presumption against short sentences will be extended to 12 months. Once additional safeguards for victims in the Domestic Abuse Scotland Act 2018 are in force. Sentencing in ever given case is a matter for the independent court who hears all the facts and circumstances of a case. Uh, Scottish courts will continue to have discretion to impose the most appropriate sentences and the ministers have been clear that the prison remains the right sentencing option for those who pose a serious risk to the public. Now, I am massively in support of this. Now, like I say, um, by abolishing short sentences, I think it's down, I think what they're saying in a nutshell is it's going to be down to the judge. The judge, the judge has already got that option, but too many judges just lock up people and throw away the key. I think that like prison is the last option. What it, what they're pretty much saying is we want, rather than just throwing prisoners away and locking them up and throwing away the key, we want the judges to hand down um, sentences, like community-based sentences, like supervision orders. So a community payback, for example, community payback order for someone that doesn't know is you supervise, you don't go to prison, you're sentenced, you might get, I don't know, three, 400 hours of community service. You've got to do that in a, in a, in a certain specific time period, right? Now, you might be like, fucking hell, four, 400 hours, that's a lot. And what it means in, in layman's terms is you'll report to probation, you'll go out, you might be litter picking in a park one day and like, do you know what I mean? Working in a charity shop or working in a charity shop warehouse. There's many other, it comes in different forms, do you know what I mean? But the point is, it's far more productive to work, right, for, for the taxpayer on the right side of the tracks, right? Prison doesn't, 
a short sentence is actually counterproductive. There's no sentencing plan there. There's no rehabilitation going on. There's no rehabilitation going on at all in prisons, but especially on a short sentence because you don't get a sentencing plan. Um, so serving your punishment in the community, wearing a high-vis vest is embarrassing. You're working for free, right? And you're giving something back to society, which is a fantastic idea. It's a fa fantastic initiative. It's been around for, for, for a long time, but short sentences have always been a bugbear of mine. I've been on a short sentence. I, I don't like them. They're counterproductive. Um, you've got to look at them sentences and think that would have been a lot more productive in the community than going to prison, getting out, and then being on, seeing probation, and then being on top of supervision order. Um, but yeah, massive, massive... Uh, move this for Scotland. Uh, France recently did it as well. President Macron, uh, they've got their own problems over there in France at the moment, haven't they? Uh, with the government and the riots and stuff on the streets. But President Macron abolished short sentences over there. Uh, first it was six months and then they extended it to 12 months. Support it massively. Here in the UK, guys, um, you've got to look. In Holland, the clo I think they closed a, a handful of prisons in, in Holland recently. Um, Norway have got the lowest reoffending rates in the world because they treat their prisoners humanely and make sure that prisons are based solely on rehabilitation. In England, what are England doing? We're rolling out in-cell telephones and then we're giving prison officers uh, parva spray and then we're building more prisons. Uh, the prison population by 2021, 2022 will be over 90,000. We've got one of the highest prison populations in Europe. Uh, more prisoners, more problems, more suicides, more self-harms, more violence, more attacks, um, more death, dis death, misery and despair re in reality. Uh, massive step this forward by Scotland. Nothing but Scotland are leaving us in their wake again, man. They're doing it the right way, focusing on short. It, it's common sense, guys. It is common sense. The statistics are there. The Scottish government have heeded these and thought, you know what? Let's put this into practice. The British government have spoken about it, but that's all they've spoken about. They, they mentioned about rolling out Skype, then they're rolling out incel telephones. There's already, they're already in 20 prisons, which is in, supposed to aid rehabilitation and reduce reoffending rates. Um, and then they're rolling out parva spray for prison officers. Scotland are taking a proactive approach and they're cutting uh, short sentences. They're abolishing them. Fantastic idea. Absolutely great idea. What do you guys think? Do you guys support the idea? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? It's not about what I think. It's about what you think. Let me know what you think, guys, about the story. Link in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.